Nice. What are we gonna do after that? Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. The time may have come to swerve for Afra instead of all the crazy stuff that's been going on, folks. Uh, before we do anything, want to shout out my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everything, guys. And I think that there's someone who just joined recently. Haven't added you to the list. I apologize. We will get you on there very shortly. We appreciate everything that all of you do. Thank you guys so much. And guys, if you want to support this channel for free, all you've got to do is hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe comment mount the algorithm guys it's a good time it's a good time let's get to 20,000 by the end of the year shall we that might be too much let's set smaller goals so we're not disappointed now let's talk about oh this isn't supposed to be here yet oops oopsies there we go so the time in the game is a time of responsibility. The raid, the new raid has just shown up and we all need Leia for it. We all need a ton of different teams for it. We don't even know what teams they are, but people are putting gear 12 on all their characters because we have the raid currency to do things like that. Irresponsible, stupid things like putting things, putting gear pieces on the pilot Bowdy, even though he's, or Bodhi, whatever, but even though he's not a pilot in the game. Uh, there's also a ton of, right now, everyone's unlocking Zepho, and it's like, hey, you've unlocked Zepho, but what about all these other special missions? You already have a Gear 12 Saw Gerrera, why not get him up to Relic 7 and do that mission, or whatever, or Marin and the, the various Night Sisters. It's crazy, and then bo coming too. There's, there's a lot going on right now, folks, and it's time to be responsible. We, we can't kill... Those poor, hapless speeder bike champions on our own. We need your help to do it, right? Uh, and so really, like right now, the time is to be responsible. We, we've got to unlock Leia, get some Raytones geared, Rise of the Empire characters geared, get ready for the Mandalore madness. Uh, and, I mean, that this is... That's what you should do. I, I mean, it, there's a lot of stuff like that. And uh, I, I would just like to say, screw that. We're going straight. <laughs> oh, wait. We're farming Afra, And <laughs> just like that little, little devil in the... Uh, uh, oh, what's the movie? Now, Empire, Emperor's New Groove. The Empire. Return of the Empire's New Groove. Now, um... He's like, I'm going to take you down the path that rocks, and really, a farming Afro, it, it seems pretty irresponsible, to be honest, guys. Like, what's good about her? So she kills a lot of Galactic Legends. She, she's, um, she does, she has some nodes in Rise of the Empire that are okay, I guess. Uh, but, you know, you need relics for them, usually, and, like, I don't know. She's not required for anything, really. There's not, it's not like a compelling, crazy reason, guys. Uh, but there is kind of. There, so there's a new Datacron that was just released. And, uh, you know, like, we we actually have them in the game right now. I'm not saying you should farm them right now, but that's that's a possibility if you wanted to spend a lot of crystals, which I don't advise, frankly. Uh, but here's the thing is, we've had this before, this combination of scoundrels... Get it when they use a basic ability on their turn, then it resets their cooldowns completely, and they gain a hundred percent turn meter. And so it's only one character per battle, but this is crazy. Uh, combined with Dr. Afra's level nine, which is that she takes a bonus turn every time a droid ally takes a turn, and your droid allies get a lot of turns. They get a lot of turns. They get a lot of turn meter. And it, we've had this before, folks. This was a, in a previous set a while ago. Was it like set five? or I don't remember. But it, it is really strong. It deletes the hell out of a few different Galactic Legends because she takes so many turns, guys. So many turns. Once you get the turn meter going, it just murders things. It is the most, one of the most fun Datacrons ever to enter the game. And... 
I know a lot of people missed it when it was initially released because I mean Afra was brand new why why would you be gearing Afra when you could be gearing you know Jabba's team and stuff like that I get it but we're capable of of working on this now at least to some degree it is a really, really strong Datacron, and not just not just strong in the sense that like, yeah, I killed killed some stuff with it, or I got some holds. It it's strong in the sense that it is really enjoyable. It is truly one of the most enjoyable Crons that we've ever had. Like I said, so um, I uh, I mean, am I really suggesting that you drop your Leia farm just to go get Afro right now, so you can use her Datacron for a couple months? Uh, I mean, you probably shouldn't do it, to be honest. But here's the thing, guys. I'm, I put out this video here. This is just the thumbnail of the last one from October. Uh, the Farm This Next series, where I'm going to go over the different raid characters that you should probably be working on. I'll be going over all the different Leia stuff, all the things that are actually responsible. This video is to be just a little irresponsible, because chasing squirrels, try, getting distracted, and having fun like that is honestly one of the most enjoyable things in the game if you do it with uh, a, a goal in mind. If there's actually some reasoning that's going that goes alongside it that, that makes it okay on some levels. It, it's like, oh, I, I chased a squirrel and, you know, I, I, I went and farmed a couple random things and now I just have a couple random things that suck like that's not the goal the goal is to farm real things that are awesome real things that are going to maybe not be optimized but it provide a lot of joy in the game and honestly this is one of the few times at, you know that, like for me in the game I'm like okay I take it seriously I take GAC seriously I take a lot of things pretty seriously in the game I mean I, we try to we try to joke around and whatever but you know it, it's it's a good thing to focus on it's one of the more enjoyable things about it is trying to plan around this game and you know have some discipline and yet sometimes when the opportunity presents itself I do think it's worth swerving for something that you're going to enjoy and I think that this is one of those times that you should at least look at this now my videos are always I'm like hey work on this and you guys are like fine Zareth keeps changing his mind I'll do what he says the thing is I want you to make the right choice for you and you know if this isn't the right one for you then just don't don't do it I'm not telling you you have to there's no pressure I just think I, well, the pressure I want to provide is to constantly be reevaluating constantly be thinking should I continue along the course that I've planned for myself? Because sometimes it doesn't make sense. Sometimes you need to just course correct a little bit for your own sanity or just for your optimization. Maybe something isn't as good anymore as it used to be. Who knows? So let's uh, let's get to it, folks. I'm going to show you guys what's going on in my middle account that's made me start thinking about all this madness, shall we? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Whoa, we're, we're in the... The madness. How how did we get here, guys? How how in how indeed did we get here? Now this account, you guys are well familiar with it at this point, probably. But in case you aren't, I have a. Uh, I mean, it's ten, over ten million now. It's insane. This is mostly free to play, or what? I guess people don't like it when I say I'm free to play. Uh, this is a mostly, this is a very low spending account. I, I've, I spend very few dollars on this account. And, I mean, some a little bit, I buy the Conquest Pass, that's it. Um, and for the longest time, don't worry I won't sing that song, even though I like it a lot. Um, the, for, for the longest time, I, I had two Galactic Legends. I just had the two Jedi. And then I was like, okay, we, Jabba's too good. I'm like, we're, we're going to get Jabba. And for a long time, that's all I've had. And, and I swim around in Kyber 2 and beat people with seven Galactic Legends. We call it we call it big game hunting because we have to use our off-meta counters to be able to take out Galactic Legends and other really big teams. And the, those are like the big game. And we just take them down with teams, I mean, like Afra, But I, I don't have Afra right now she's not a requirement for anything and frankly there's too much to work on and uh, ever since uh, we got those bundles released I decided okay well I'll buy the bundles and so I got Ray I got Kylo you can see they only have three Zetas but right now I'm on the path 
to get a sixth Galactic Legend. Believe it or not, I, I also got, I just got Cal Kestis as well, Jedi Cal Kestis. So, I mean, this account is just really exploding with potential. I've been in Kyber too. I mean, I've been beating really strong opponents for a long time. And yet, this account is really starting to come into its own in just in terms of power. Like, I don't have the ult on Kylo, but that'll be here in a week or two. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. And frankly, we're getting to the point where, uh, I mean, we have all these different... I, if you ever want to see your progress, guys, I would recommend just making tabs that set, that show you all the requirements and just group them by the groups that they are in the journey guide. That way you can just look at them and see how you're doing. So like my Lord Vader recommend or requirements, they're not we're not that close to Lord Vader. I'm I'm the farthest from Lord Vader on this account out of all of them. Uh, but I mean I had this one for Supreme Leader Kylo. Obviously I've already unlocked him, but I mean this we're this this was. I mean, I don't even know if this is actually the the tiers on it. Kind of now that I'm, yeah, I'm like, hey, just do this. But um, uh, so Kylo's unlocked. We could probably delete this, but I'm I'm not going to, because why why delete things when you can keep them around forever? So Sith Eternal Emperor after. After my next farm that I'm working on, I could be working on Sith Eternal Emperor because all I really need, I need a few relic levels. So we need like Director Krennic, a couple gear pieces, four relic levels. Darth Sidious, he needs six gear pieces, and then he needs seven relic levels. I mean, that's a lot. So the Marauder, which, I mean, I have the Leviathan, so I should probably be getting him to relic seven anyways, because his ship is really important and gets shot at the most, uh, but he needs relics. Anakin needs a couple relics, Thrawn needs a couple relics, and then I think I'm done. I'm done. Like, not much. We're, we're really close to getting Sith Eternal. Um, but the thing I'm working on right now is Galactic Legend Leia, because we're, we're very close on that. All we really need is Nisa and Captain Rex. Captain Rex, I just put his last piece on today, so now, of course, we need seven relic levels. But Nisa, Rex... True, Scout Trooper, we only need 14 shards left, and, and then, I mean, so these are two Cairo Tech pieces, so this is 200 Cairo Tech, just right here, uh, and then we also need Drogon, Drogon uh, is obviously farmable in Cantina, we're getting them, we're getting him there, um, he needs more gear pieces as well, uh, well, not that many though, and that's it guys, I, I mean, I need a couple relic levels on Rolo, a couple on Cholo, and then one on Lola. Oh, let's just Lobot. But um, yeah, we we need we need a few relic levels. That's fine. However, there is the other option, guys. Is this Afra farm? Now I, I've been sneaky about it, and I do have BT1. Like I mean, complete for requirements. I also have Hondo because Hondo's a boss. I've been. I've been working on this video forever and promising people a Hondo video, and I just to keep getting distracted by these other newer things that are being released. But he's, he's very good. He's a lot of fun. I put I love his Omicron. Does a lot of cool stuff. <clears throat> All I really need, triple zeros even farmed. Sana, I thought that she would be accelerated uh, by now, but she's not apparently. Um, but she is in Cantina and at a low energy note, and we can farm her fairly quickly if we wanted to. Triple zero. All just a couple more gear pieces. And that's it. So everything's ready, folks. And uh, so at, at times like this, you really have to kind of look at the, uh, the there's there's charts that, that kind of can kind of help us and give us an idea of, of what's what's going on. Hold on, let me get one for us. All right, here we go. So that this is an infographic that you can actually get on my Discord server file. Go into the the video description and you can find a link to the Discord server. You can go to uh, the channel is just infographics and I mean this has been out for I mean it's just it's this month that I put it out but uh, you can see that you can go get it, share it with your friends, keep it for your own records, whatever. I mean I know it's not that fancy but just for your own records and I mean this just shows all the different galactic legends and how much in general, like it shows all the relic levels that are required, and then that, like, just two kind of milestone gear pieces to keep track of. Like, okay, Carbanti is very common, most Galactic Legends and the uh, similar characters uh, require that much. And then Kyrotech also, like, the between those two, it gives a pretty good snapshot of, of kind of like what the requirements are. And you so you can see toward the bottom, Afra requires a total of. 
1450 Carbanti, including on Afra herself. I mean, she herself needs 400 of the damn thing, things. Uh, but, uh, you know, the Chirotech, she needs, the, they need a little bit as well. Though, the, really, the, the requirements that they're surrounded by are, are um, even a little bit more onerous. Uh, so, anyways, and then you can look at Leia a little bit farther up and how much Carbanti and Chirotech they cost. And of course, that's that's not necessarily an accurate screen or depiction of what what my situation is because uh, my Leia, I'm almost I, I don't think I need to spend any more Carbanti, for instance. So just because it says uh, three thirty-three fifty. For, for just the character requirements for Carbanti. I've already spent all those, apparently, which is crazy. I'll, I'll need to save some for Leia herself. But the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting pretty close here, guys. And you guys can use uh, tools like that just to kind of plan your snapshots. You know, you can you can probably find even more uh, more accurate ways of being able to determine how close you are. But uh, one way or another, guys, I'm pretty close and. I mean, if, if you just really want to put it into a nutshell, which one is going to be stronger? Uh, get, getting these Leia requirements here or the Afra requirements. I mean, Drogon is really helpful. In fact, he's a rebel fighter, so he goes really well with Rise of the Empire. Um, Nisa is not useful, really. Scout Trooper, though, has... Uh, I mean, an, an Omicron, and we're gonna have to, I'm gonna be putting out an Omicron ranking video here pretty soon as well. And, uh, you know, we, we'll evaluate the Scout Trooper one, but I guess all I'm saying is, there's a lot of things that are kind of important going on with the layer requirements. Um, the Afra one, so what am I getting, really, by by working on Afra? If I wanna work on Afra, as opposed to these Leia requirements here, like what, what am I gonna gain? Uh, I mean, getting Leia would be nice, because she just dominates things, but we have a small window here, guys. Four months until that Datacron set is gone, and I know that, that sounds like not that much time. Four months, not long, but Guys, it is a truly enjoyable uh, thing, and, and it'll kill Galactic Legends as well. It, it is going to be really strong. I mean, I already have Hondo, and I mean, you get Sana, which she's probably the most worthless Muppet ever to do anything. I don't know why I said Muppet, honestly. I'm not trying to be Heinze, guys. Uh, but it's, uh, <laughs> and that's no shade on him either, I promise. I promise, love Heinze. But, um, yeah, Sa Sana... She's worthless. She is. The murder bots, super fun. And I already have the Zetas on them, and that's probably a big part of it as well. Like, I'm, I'm I, you have to gear up Afra, but that, that's not going to be that bad. And I get to use a Datacron that's just super fun. I don't know, however, folks, like, <laughs> is it going to screw my guild over by waiting a little bit? I guess the thing, the way I've been thinking of it, however, is... Okay, so I need Relic 7, Relic 7, Relic 7, Relic 7 for Leia, and then I need Relic 9, basically. And then I'm gonna need, really, I'm gonna need Relic 8 on Captain Drogon, uh, because he, he's gonna be important for her squad. So, Relic 7, Relic 7, Relic 7, Relic 8, Relic 9, just to get Leia. Or, all I really need is, uh, you know, I need all the gear pieces for Sana, plus I need, she needs Relic 5, Relic 5, and then Afra is probably Relic 7. We'll probably, realistically, want to get a hero of that caliber up to Relic 7. And for me, I mean, that, that's not many Relic levels. That, that, you know, 17 Relic levels, as opposed to, what, 28 plus 9, so 37 Relic levels? Uh, for me, it makes a lot of sense. And, I mean, I don't have to pay any Cairo tech. Does it make sense for you guys? I don't really know. I don't really know for sure. I, I mean, swerving for Afra. this video is supposed to be about being re reckless, and so I guess I'm just gonna say, Afra is going to do a lot of cool stuff for you, and you're gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of it, and it's if you don't work on her now, that you'll get way less bang for your buck, I guess, folks. Um, So, 
That being said, let me know what your thoughts are in the video, or in the comments. Would love to hear your thoughts. Should we be irresponsible, or should we take the responsible route? I would love to hear your thoughts. For real, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.